First at six, could a change be on the horizon for CMPD animal care and control? Good evening, I'm Brian Blakely. A group including several shelter volunteers says it needs to separate from the police department and become its own agency. Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger joins us now in the studio. And Derek, this effort to make this change happen is taking some good work here. Uh, yes, in, in fact, uh, we need to emphasize here that this is talk in earnest. And the main reason why it really comes down to basically, a, basically comes to down to a change in funding. They are the ones in need, and they are the ones who for now are in the middle of an effort to address their welfare and future. Animal services in Mecklenburg County right now are handled through CMPD's Animal Care and Control. It's a part of the police department's support services, but volunteers who work there say it is a problem. It causes a lot of bureaucracy. The shelter does not have autonomy over its own budget, which is incredibly important. Kelsey Joseph is one of those volunteers and is with the group Friends of CMAS, which earlier this week filled part of a Charlotte City Council meeting with a plea. It's time for that unit to be a freestanding department unto itself. And the second thing that I'm asking for is funding to help it get new facilities. The stench of urine and feces hits you straight away. The cacophony of crying, barking and whining dogs fill your ears. <gasps> the idea of this is not new. What is now animal care and control was at one point in the early 90s its own department within the city of Charlotte, but it eventually became consolidated with CMPD. Volunteers say it has hindered the shelter's progress because funding for animal care and control can and sometimes has been redirected elsewhere. They also add that the current shelter can't keep up with the influx of animals. The current shelter was built 30 years ago when the population of Charlotte is, was half of what it is today. Um, that means that there's more companion animals in the city. That means that there's more people who need resources and help with their animals mm -hmm. and the shelter cannot accommodate. The group pushing for the change say they have been working for at least a year now to get the attention of city leaders and they say they have the attention of some, but action on any change is still a ways off. Monday's plea was during city council's public hearing and it was not an item up for vote, so no action was taken. But those for the change say something should happen and soon. This is something that quite literally keeps me up at night. It's something that causes me heartbreak every single week. Now, we did reach out to CMPD Animal Care and Control about this push. They could not provide us a comment by our deadline. However, they are a publicly funded agency, and if any changes or decisions are approved by city leaders, that is something that Animal Care and Control would be compelled to follow. There's no word yet on when this could be up for discussion on the city council level. Brian.